Hello again, everyone. Um, this afternoon, um, the next part of this we series for our class tomorrow, um, I thought I'd talk a little bit about palette selection and why I've chosen this particular palette. So um, I'm going to be using uh, from my palette, I think I've got a bit of a mix up in my palette here. So you'll forgive me if my colours end up not quite. It's because I think I've put the wrong colour in the wrong place. This is French Ultramarine. A little bit darker. Very beautiful. And I'm also going to use Alizarin Crimson. And also Burnt Sienna. There we go. If I can just, I've pretty much put fresh paint. I haven't put any fresh Burnt Sienna because I've got that big glob and I resolved it with some gum Arabic the other day. Okay, so why am I using these three colours? Because I know that with these three colours um, in a limited palette, that I can mix a tremendous range of values. I can mix this super beautiful dark and um, grade it down to white, yeah? So I know that I can mix a super dark. So here's my super dark. That's my French Ultra. If I turn that light around, so I have to fool around with the light because it shines in my eyes. These are my French Ultramarine, very beautiful. I'm just going to put some violet in to show you, some red, beg your pardon. Look at the violet. Stunning, yeah? Um, and into that, actually, I'm just going to put some Burnt Sienna as well. Look at that beautiful tree colour. Look at that stunning colour. I love Burnt Sienna, it's my favourite colour. No, it's not. Raw Sienna is my favourite colour. No, it's not. Cobalt Violet, Cobalt Turquoise is my favourite colour. No, it's not. <laughs> I have this battle all the time. So I can mix this beautiful grey. Look at that. Or I can go even darker. There it is. Just loading it through my brush. Just a little bit of water. Just enough to get it to mix. And there's pretty close to dark. It's a beautiful grey, isn't it? Okay, so I need to go darker to show you how dark I can go with that. So you notice no more water. I'm just picking up. Oh, look at there. Even darker. And another glob of paint. No more water. more and even darker yeah beautiful so um those are the colors that i'm using today french ultramarine permanent alizarin and burnt sienna um and i've had this thought for ages for you about palette selection and how to choose colors and I guess I'm kind of hedging around because it's a huge topic. And um, for me, a lot of it is just all based on how I feel today. You know, I feel like when I get up in the morning, um, I feel like painting a pink painting, for example. So, <laughs> and then I work around pink. Um, and we've done that in class too. We've, um, maybe a few years since we've done that. So maybe we need to do it again. Look how light the values are if I do that. Woohoo, looky there. Um,